Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. Okay, so today I'm gonna to try and fix this three ton hydraulic jack. You know, when I pump it, this is where it locked up. This thing is supposed to come up. That's not happening. The ram is just not doing anything. So I had intended just buying a few seals for it. And what happened then was I went up to my brother-in-law's place and he said, uh, seals, come up here with me. So I went up to the sheds at the back of his house and he gave me this. It's brand new. It's actually the fix for this thing. It's, um, it's the hydraulic ram that goes into one of these. It was just fluke that he actually had one. Um, just look on my part. So what I'm gonna try and do now is strip it down, get that in here and the old one out. So I'm just pulling these pins out. They look like, I don't know, 19s or 21s or something. These, um, this handle rotates on this. So I'm just taking the one off this side as well. That's these two, two things out. They're just pins with some treads on the end of them. Okay. And they've got some split washers on them as well. Now, okay, that whole thing comes out. Cog and all. Right, let's put that here for now. Now, the brother-in-law did say something to me about this spring. The spring pulls that back down against the hydraulic fluid. You know, when you open it, the spring just withdraws it. So obviously I'm not looking to lose anything doing this. It's gonna use a vice grips and a screwdriver. Um, not sure which screwdriver yet. Okay. That's the spring disconnected. I just pushed on the vice grips and uh, dropped the spring off. Okay, there's the spring, just clips on. Just here, there's a pin, a split pin. I'm just gonna take that out. Okay, almost. Right, split pin out, if you can see that. So just in behind this wheel, there's an Allen key that holds the back of this thing together. So I'll just take that one out. Now, I don't have this thing from new, so I'm not sure who had it before me and what was done on it. It was, um, you know, it would st slowly come down. It was never perfect. So it's one pin out, get the other one out now. Okay, again, there's another one here. Yeah. These weren't even tight, so. I presume they're not supposed to be too tight because it pivots on these as well. So just in behind the wheel. I'm gonna hold this with the vice grips. I have a small adjustable spanner here. And I was just gonna say, you know, most of the rest of the stuff is fairly loose. Yeah, drop down. Okay. So I've taken that out as well. Yeah, this thing looks to me like it's gonna walk out. Now we want that that way. This would be right. So. Okay, with a bit of maneuvering, I managed to get that split pin in. Try and start this. There we go. That's the first one in. So I'm just gonna push that in there and lift. There we go. I'm lifting the jack. Right, so just keep the split washer down that end and put it through like a big bolt. Yeah. So, spring washer, I meant to say on the other side. Spring washer. And a nut. 
Now, fantastic heat out of the stove. Bear in mind, it's probably minus one or, or two outside. And uh, I'm in here, I could go down to a t-shirt if I needed to. This poor old shed is, is uh, totally uninsulated. And although I've used a bit of coal in here tonight, I've only used maybe six or seven pieces. And here we are, I'm in here a couple of hours now. I've had tea, I stopped for a bit of a break, sandwich and so on. So, um, yeah, it's really cool. It's great to have a bit of heat. This only goes on to one way. It's not a round hole. It's got two flat sides on it and that sits over the same underneath. Let's put the nut on. I didn't realize I could get to the nut after the fact. So because of that, I can just, you know, put it on kind of hand tight and get to it later. Okay, so that's it, everything is rotating now. So we'll just put this on now. There we go, lovely. Put our two pivots in. That's one in, another one. See that? <laughs> Lovely. Now, last time I went to use one of these, I had to use those small little one and a half ton trolley jacks. They're a bit of a joke. They barely get the car up, you know, this sort of height. This one, on the other hand, was really good when it worked. Okay, that's maximum extension. Be interesting now to lift the car with it and see what happens. Let's see if it comes back down. <laughs> Lovely, I'm delighted. So I only had one of these and any time I needed to lift, I had to go borrow one. Uh, this one being broken, I thought that was the end of it. I'd have to buy another one. And I have plenty of things to buy, so it was on the to-do list. Um, yeah, but look, it's working. And it cost me nothing. Now, I know everyone else is gonna have to buy one of the things or buy a seal kit. Um, I'd probably pull the old one apart and have a look and see what went wrong with it. So that's it, this one working is fantastic. And for anybody interested in a warm workshop, the, the stove I built over there, it's just brilliant. You know, it's minus one or two outside, there's ice beginning to form on the, on the ground. And uh, I'm as warm as I want to be in here. And I've used very little, I've used maybe, I've been here for about two hours messing around with this and getting tea and Actually, tea sounds very good. I've got to get another one of those. And, uh, you know, I've burnt no coal hardly, you know, maybe six or seven lumps of it, and the rest is all uh, waste oil. So um, that's it, brilliant. So look, I'm gonna leave it there for now. If you liked the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here. If you're already a subscriber, <laughs> thanks very much. I'll bring you for a point. Okay, so I'm out of here. Good luck, bye-bye.